Hello everyone. Welcome to Inflorescence Designs. My name is Julia and I'm so glad you're joining me today. Today's tutorial is for the Polar Bear Plunge blog hop hosted by Joan at Moose Stash Quilting. For those of you who don't know what a blog hop is, it is essentially an online show and tell among artists or quilt designers or whatever the group you're working with is. Um, and it's based around the theme. So for this month's theme, it's called Polar Bear Plunge and it's anything to do with bears, blue or cold. So for my project, I have made a snow globe wall hanging and I am using Art Deco foil from Thermoweb to give it a little bit extra uh, pizzazz, if you might say. So come along, join me, and I'll show you how I made it. So let's begin. First, you'll need to cut out all the pieces in the pattern. Then, draw a diagonal line on the six small squares. Next, pin the squares to the four corners of your large snow globe piece. Finish by adding the last two squares to the base of your snow globe. Take your two pieces to your sewing machine and stitch on the drawn line. Next, trim your pieces. Finish by taking your pieces to your ironing board and pressing your seams open. Next, you'll want to stitch your block together. Start by stitching the base to the globe, and then the two sides, and finally, the top. Now it's time to cut out our applique pieces. First, iron on your double-sided fusible adhesive according to the manufacturer's directions. I'm using Thermoweb Heat and Bond Light. Next, place your fabric and snowflake die on your crossover two machine and send through. Next, iron all your applique pieces on, quilt your project, and bind it before moving on to the next step. To get the fun, shiny silver on my project, I used Thermoweb's Deco Foil, which uses a hot melt adhesive. You'll need to cut out the hot melt using the same method we used to cut out our applique pieces. Next, you'll need to adhere the hot melt to your project. Follow the instructions on the packaging and make sure to let it cool. Once cooled, it's time to peel the backing off of your hot melt. Due to the nature of the snowflake die and all the sharp corners, it was a bit tricky trying to peel off all the backing. Next, layer your deco foil right side up and iron according to the instructions. Once cool, you can peel the foil away and watch the magic happen. Thermoweb's Deco Foil Adhesives are a great way to add some depth to your piece. However, I would like to add that the foil likes smooth surfaces. I decided to add some of the foil to my quilted parts and it didn't adhere as well as I would have liked. Well, there you have it. I've shown you how to make your very own snow globe mini wall hanging. Has hearts in the inside. Uh, well, hello? What has hearts on the inside? Mommy. Yes, Melody? Did you make me something? Yeah. Oh, let's see what she made me. Can I come in? Yes, you can come in. Come say hello to everybody. Come here. Come say hello. 
Say hello, messy hair. <laughs> hello. You want to show everybody what you made? Yeah. Show, show them. Show them. That's beautiful. Can I have it? Yeah, why don't you get it? Go on downstairs. Make me another one. Okay. Okay. You keep this in your craft. I will keep it in my craft room. Don't be angry. I'm not angry. But don't close the door. Okay, I won't close the door. Because I, I, I can come in. Yes. Well, there you have it. Life, it's so much fun. Um, that's my youngest, Melody. Anyway, <laughs> hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, learn from my mistake. Don't use the deco foil on a uh, textured surface. It didn't work very well. Um, so yes, until next time, I hope you get to do what brings you joy every day.